Hello everybody, um, Isological here, and today I've got a video demoing a kind of a prototype of an idea I'm working on. So basically, um, last summer I worked on a project that I didn't actually write any blog posts about that was a portable speaker system. Basically it was like a battery powered uh, set of car speakers that was in a, like a box, like a, um, like a supply box. The problem was you could you couldn't adjust the volume of the speakers without having to actually open up the box and get in there, which was kind of a hassle, and it was probably not great for the uh, electronics because say your hands are wet or something. So basically, what I want to do here is I want to uh, add a add, I wanted to add a way to be able to adjust the volume without having to open up the box or even having to touch anything. So the the thing that's driving this project is this component over here. So this is a sharp infrared uh, sensor. I'll put the link to it in the uh, blog post in the description of the video. But basically it is a um, just that. It's an infrared proximity sensor that can output an analog voltage that is very easily read by the Arduino. So um, once it... and the, well the other thing is a, uh, this is a digital potentiometer right here this component which you can't see because it's out of focus I'm very new at this camera if you can't tell <laughs> basically uh, it's not I haven't done anything with it so far but basically it can just uh, mimic the behavior of a potentiometer um, and since I can't really manipulate the amplifier of the speaker without um, without uh, like manipulating the potentiometer I don't want to like add a servo to control I have to do it through this I have to hook up the digital potentiometer so basically how this works is the sensor is constantly uh, sensing anything that's above it. So you can, this, I uh, can't really see it. So the bar graph on the left, uh, the, LED, the 10 LED bar graph on the left um, is the ambient, like what's happening all the time. And actually I'll just show, I'll just show you how it works. So basically I'll go to check mode, what I'm calling check mode, and then we can adjust the volume. So now that we're at a distinct certain, then we'll go to a height for a certain amount of time. Sorry, my hand's kind of shaky. And now the volume's set. So basically, if you saw that how it worked, it'll it'll wait until your hand's at a certain distance from the sensor. Um, so the the distance is like just a predetermined thing. So um, you can see the green LED right here blinks every time that that predetermined value is seen. So now that it's seen, it'll go to now. It's once it gets seen for a certain amount of time, it enters the. I can actually now I would be manipulating the volume, so to speak, if it, if the system was hooked up, but it's not. So you can see now that the volume is set to zero and it'll be held at zero until you go back in and reset it. So I'll set it halfway, half volume. It's a little bit noisy because I haven't done anything at all with the uh, with work with working the algorithm, but. Um, Works pretty well. Works surprisingly well for uh, this kind of processor. I don't know how much uh, vol how much uh, power it's going to consume. Probably not that much. But uh, the and it's also n it's not going to be driving any of these LEDs. I don't think because this is just for my sake. I've, as you can see, I've got a lot of shift registers because I want to be able to drive all those pins. But um, I don't think that's going to be included in the project. It might be, but. We'll see how that goes. Um, so same thing as always. You can check the uh, blog, the blog post in the description of this video for the source code and schematics. Actually, probably not schematics for this because it's just a prototype. You can probably figure out the schematic out from the program, but the program will definitely be included. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching.